Hey guys, it's Dinosaur D123. Um, just wanted to talk to you guys today about what's been on my heart lately and tell you a bit about myself. So we have our annual suicide prevention live stream coming up next month, uh, September 14th to 15th at 5 p.m. Eastern. We're going to be starting up the 24-hour charity live stream uh, for the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. And I just wanted to let you guys know so that you guys can all stop by and show your support. Uh, suicide prevention is something very dear to me. Um, and uh, suicide and self-harm is something that I dealt with personally for many years. And I understand how much of a struggle it could be to work through stuff like that. And it's important that other people that are struggling with this that they get have options that they get the help that they need so that we don't lose people to something that's avoidable you know um other news at the end of the charity live stream we're going to be hosting the 3v3 ctf nitro tournament with titan brigade tournaments you can join the discord server the details for the charity event and the tournaments and everything else will be in the description for this video um but so guys i want to talk with you for a bit about some of the steps you could take if you're struggling with self-harm or suicide or really any addiction um i want to talk with you about some options about some things that help me quit some things that help me work through it and Find a way out find another option and then stay away from it and so uh number one it's gonna sound maybe a little bit silly uh but w the way my youth pastor always told me it uh when i was getting help from my good friend kurt blanchon was to never quit quitting and it's as simple as it sounds you quit and if you make a mistake you quit again you can never ever lose this battle lose this war if you never quit quitting guys you fall down you stand back up again you keep going you always start over it's never too late to restart and to just give it another try um and the number two when you quit quit or when you decide to quit you remove the temptation anything that you're using to feel its addiction cause yourself harm or whatever it is you're dealing with Remove the temptation, remove that option from your life. Um, and then number three, accountability. Whether it's me, whether it's a family member, a friend, a loved one. Uh, for me personally, one of my account, uh, one of the people I use to hold me accountable is God, is Christianity, my religion. I put a lot of my faith in that. I know not everyone is religious. Um, Christian but it's really important to consider take everything back up to God because there is no one who will hold you more accountable and be more judge free than that but accountability guys you need someone in your life that can hold you accountable and that you can hold yourself accountable to them because the hardest thing about this is doing it alone and you don't need to be alone. You're not alone. You have people that care about you. You have people that love you. I don't know your situations. I don't know everything that's going on in your life. But I don't need to know everything to know that there are people that care about you. And if you don't see people who care about you, you need to look again. And open your mind a little bit because I guarantee you there are people that care. I don't even, maybe I don't even know you, but I care, you know. And... So it's important to find yourself accountable. So when you quit, you remove your temptation, you go to that accountability partner, a friend, that family member, and you say, I made a mistake today. You let them know what's going on. And then you quit again. So let's say you quit and you make it for a day. And then you make another mistake. When you go back, you talk to them. You quit again. Next time you might go four or five days. That's great. You're making progress. And then you make another mistake. 
And that's okay. It's all right to make mistakes. Because then you're going to make it a little bit further, and a little bit further, and a little bit further. Don't be ashamed in the fact that you made a mistake. Be proud of yourself that you made it farther and farther and farther. You made more progress than you ever have. Take pride in the fact that you are working towards a better life for yourself and your friends and your family. And now to step number four is to find what's important to you. Okay? There's always something in your life worth fighting for. Even if you can't see it, I know that when you're dealing with suicide or self-harm in particular, that it's very hard to see the light. It's very hard to see something worth living for in your situations. But I promise you there's something there, whether it's a hobby, a friend, family member, loved one. Or, I don't know, maybe even a dog or a pet of some kind. There's always something in your life that matters. And if, there, and if you really couldn't find something, think about the future that you could live for. I have many, many things that I'm thankful for that I love every single day in life. And I have bad days just like everyone else have bad days. But when I have those thoughts, I not only think about everything I have in my life right now, but I think to myself, in the future, I want to have a family. I want to have kids. I want to have a loved one. I have seven nieces and three nephews, and I absolutely love them to death. And... I intend to be there for them when they grow up. I have a lot of people that I work with, that I care about, that I want to be there to support. I want to be there to be a difference, and I love helping people. I've always, I want to be there in case somebody needs me. And making those mistakes, falling back into those old, old habits, takes that away. It's important to hold on to those things. It really is, guys. And step number five, don't be ashamed of your past. A lot of people, they look at self-harm, they look at suicide, and they, they think that they're ashamed of it. That, wow, I'm weak, I'm a loser, pathetic. Look at what I'm dealing with, look at my life. Look at what I went through. There's nothing to be ashamed of in what you've gone through, what you're going through. No shame in it at all. Now number six, remember that you're strong. If you're fighting this, if you're trying to work through this, there is strength in that. You are a strong individual, and there are there's strength in numbers, which is why it's important with the accountability and everything else. It is important to keep other people involved, to reach out and to share what's going on. It'll, it's, I'm not going to say it'll ever be easy to talk about what's going on, but Sharing your stories, sharing your life, what's going on, your situation. There's strength in that because you aren't alone. There are other people who have gone through situations like yours. And you have the courage, you have the strength to share your emotions and what's going on. Not only helps you by bringing other people in, sharing what's going on, and opening yourself up but you never know it can help a lot of other people because you don't know what they're going through but what you say can help them especially once you've gone through it and you've worked through it and even if you're not perfect because I mean I know I'm not perfect I know many people never are but there's strength in your situation, there's strength in your story, there's strength in you. And sharing that can make all the difference for other people. And 
helping others tends to help yourself. And then, so number seven, guys. Remember that you have control of the situation. There are a lot of things we go through, a lot of things that happen on a daily basis that we don't have control over. Things happen, accidents, mistakes. People get hurt. Things happen, and some of those things we can't avoid. This right here, the addiction, self-harm, suicide, whatever it is, you have control of that. You can work through it. It gets better. But with everything going on right now in the world and everything else, there's no need, no point in giving up control of something that we can control. We can control our lives. We can move forward. We can get better. Take that opportunity to do so. And so guys, I want to quickly share with you um, the National uh, Suicide Prevention Lifeline. Uh, if you or a loved one or anybody you know who is dealing with self-harm or suicide, please call this number. It's right there for you on screen. It's 1-800-273-8255. Seriously, if you or someone else is dealing with this, please share it. Please give them a call and get the help that you need. Because there are people that care about you. And there are things to live for, I promise. But so, wrap this up, guys. Again, we have the 24-hour suicide prevention charity marathon live stream next month it's at uh suicide the annual national suicide prevention week is the 9th to the 15th september uh we are starting the 24-hour charity stream at on the 14th at 5 p.m eastern again all this will be in the description any bits donations um uh, do, uh just General donations or sub payments are all going to the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. I really hope to see you guys there. It's going to be a great time. We're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to be playing Titanfall 2. Come hang out with us. Have a great time. And I'll see you guys then. Thanks.